Chapter 11 And the rulers of the people dwelt at Jerusalem. The rest of the people also cast lots to bring one of ten to dwell in Jerusalem, the holy city, and nine parts to dwell in other cities. And the people blessed all the men that willingly offered themselves to dwell at Jerusalem. Now these are the chief of the prowns that dwelt in Jerusalem. But in the cities of Judah dwelt Uri one in his possession, in their cities, to wit Israel, the priests, and the Lewits, and the Nethanims, and the children of Solomon's servants. And at Jerusalem dwelt Sertain of the children of Judah, and of the children of Benjamin, of the children of Judah, Athaiah the son of Aziah, the son of Zechariah, the son of Amariah, the son of Shepatiah, the son of Mahalaleel, of the children of Perez, and Messiah the son of Baruch, the son of Kalhoz, the son of Isaiah, the son of Adaiah, the son of Ebiarab, the son of Zechariah, the son of Shaloni. All the sons of Perez that dwelt at Jerusalem were four hundred threescore and eight valiant men, and these are the sons of Benjamin, Salo the son of Meshalem, the son of Iod, the son of Peda, the son of Coliah, the son of Messiah, the son of Ethiel, the son of Isaiah, and after him Gaba, Salai, nine hundred twenty and eight, and Iol the son of Zachri was their seer, and Judah the son of Senua was second over the city, of the priests, Iadea the son of Ewirab, Aichin, Suraya the son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshalem, the son of Zadok, the son of Meraeth, the son of Ahidab, was the ruler of the house of God. And their brethren that did the work of the house were eight hundred twenty and two, and Adaya the son of Iroham, the son of Palalia, the son of Amzi, the son of Zechariah, the son of Pasher, the son of Malcha, and his brethren, chief of the fathers, two hundred forty and two, and Amashai the son of Azareel, the son of Ahasa, the son of Meshalmoth, the son of Immer, and their brethren mighty men of valor, an hundred twenty and eight, and their our seer was Zadiel, the son of one of the great men, also of the Lewits, Shemaiah the son of Hashab, the son of Azrakam, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Buni, and Shabbathai, and Iozabad, of the chief of the Lewits, had the our sight of the outward business of the house of God, and Mataniah the son of Micah, the son of Zabdi, the son of Asaph, was the principal to begin the thanksgiving in prayer, and Bakbukia the second among his brethren, and Abda the son of Shamuel, the son of Galil, the son of Iduthan. All the Lewits in the holy city were two hundred, four a score and four. Moreover, the porters, Akub, Talman, and their brethren that kept the gates were an hundred suinti and two. And the residue of Israel, of the priests and the Lewits, were in all the cities of Judah, Uri one in his inheritance. But the Nethanims dwelt in Ophel, and Zeichai, and Jispa were all were the Nethanims. The Arseer also of the Lewits at Jerusalem was Ozi, the son of Bani, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Matania, the son of Micah, of the sons of Asaph. The singers were all were the business of the house of God. For it was the king's commandment concerning them that a certain portion should be for the singers who for Uri day. And Pathea the son of Meshazabel, of the children of Sira the son of Judah, was at the king's hand in all matters concerning the people. And for the villages with their fields, some of the children of Judah dwelt at Kiriath Arba. And in the villages thereof, and at Dibon, and in the villages thereof, and at Yakapsiel, and in the villages thereof, and at Aisha, and at Molada, and at Beth Felet, and at Hazer Shu, and at Beersheba, and in the villages thereof, and at Siglig, and at Makona, and in the villages thereof, and at Enrimin, and at Zero, and at I Armith. Sino Adulam, and in their villages at Lachish, and the fields thereof at Azekah, and in the villages thereof. And they dwelt from Beersheba, then told the valley of Hinnom. The children also of Benayamin from Jeba dwelt at Michmesh, and Aya, and Bethel, and in their villages. And at Anathoth, Nob, Anania, Hazer, Rama, Gedim. Hadid, Saboin, Nebalat, Lod, and Ono, the Valley of Craftsmen.
and of the Luits were derisions in Judah and in Benjamin. Chapter 12 Now these are the priests and the Luits that went Phoebe with Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel, and Aishua, Saraiah, Iremia, Ezra, Amaria, Malak, Hattish, Shekaniah, Rehum, Merimeth, Ido, Jinnatho, Abiah, Mayaman, Madish, Bilga, Shemaiah, and Yerab, Idiah, Salu, Amak, Hilkiah, Idiah, these were the chief of the priests, and of their brethren in the days of Aishua. Moreover, the Luits, Aishua, Benui, Kadmiel, Sherbiah, Judah, and Madaniah, which was o'er the thanksgiving, he and his brethren. Also, Bakwakiah and Anai, their brethren, were o'er against them in the watches. And I shall begate you Ikim, I Ikim also begate Eliashib, and Eliashib begate Uyada. And Uyada begate Ionathan, and Ionathan begate Iadua. And in the days of Uikim were priests the chief of the fathers of Sariah, Mariah, of Iremia, Hananiah, of Ezra, Meshlem, of Amaria, Iohanan, of Malika, Inathan, of Shebania, Isaph. Of Harim Adna of Moraeth, Helkai. Of Iodo, Zechariah, of Jinathan, Meshulam. Of Abijah, Sikri, of Miniamin, of Modia, Pilti. Of Bilga, Shamua, of Shimea, Ihanathan. And of Iwirab, Madnai, of Iadea, Uzizii. Of Stalai, Kalai, of Amakeber. Of Hilkai, Hashabia, of Iadea, Nethaniel. The Luits in the days of Eliashib, Yoyada, and Iahanan, and Iadua were recorded chief of the fathers, also the priests, to the reign of Darius the Persian. The sons of Lui, the chief of the fathers, were written in the book of the Chronicles, even until the days of Iahanan the son of Eliashib, and the chief of the Luits, Hashabiah, Sherbiah, and Aishua the son of Cadmiel, with their brethren or against them, to praise and to do thanks according to the commandment of Dod the man of God, ward or against ward. Madania and Bakbukia, Obadiah, Meshalem, Talman, Akub, were porters keeping the ward, at the thresholds of the gates. These were in the days of Yoakim, the son of Ishua, the son of Iozadak, and in the days of Nehemiah the governor, and of Ezra the priest, the scribe. And at the dedication of the wall of Jerusalem, they sought the Luits out of all their places to bring them to Jerusalem, to keep the dedication with gladness, both with thanksgivings and with singing with cymbals, psalteries, and with harps. And the songs of the singers gathered themselves together, both out of the plain country round about Jerusalem, and from the villages of Netafathi also from the house of Gilgal, and out of the fields of Jeba, and Asmoth, for the singers had builded them villages round about Jerusalem. And the priests and the lutes purified themselves, and purified the people, and the gates, and the wall. Then I brought VP the princes of Yudaf on the wall, and appointed to great companies of them that got thanks. Whereof one went on the right hand on the wall toward the down gate, and after them went Hosha and half of the princes of Judah, and Azariah, Azra, and Meshulam, Judah, and Benaimin, and Shimea, and Iremia, and certain of the priests' sons with trumpets, namely Zechariah the son of Inathan, the son of Shimea. The son of Matania, the son of Mishai, the son of Sakir, the son of Asaph, and his brethren Shemaiah and Asariel, Milai, Jilai, my Nethaniel, and Judah, Hanani, with the musical instruments of Dod, the man of God, and Ezra, the scribe, before them. And at the Fundane gate, which was o'er against them, they went VP by the stairs of the city of Dod. At the going VP of the wall, about the house of Dodd, you invento the water gate eastward. And the other company of them that got thanks went o'er against them, and I after them. And the half of the people found the wall from beyond the tour of the furnaces, you invento the broad wall. And from about the gate of Ephraim, and about the old gate, and about the fish gate, and the tour of Hananiel. And the tour of Mia, you invento the sheep gate, and they stood still in the prison gate. So stood the two companies of them that got thanks in the house of God, and I, and the half of the rulers with me. And the priests, 
alaiki masia ninimin bishaya ilairinai Zachariah and Hananiah with trumpets. And Messiah and Shemaiah and Eleazar and Dasi and Hohanin and Elchia and Elim and Ezer. And the singer sang loud with Yezer Haya their our seer. Also that day they offered great sacrifices and rejoiced, for God had made them rejoice with great eye. The Yus also, and the children rejoiced, so that the eye of Jerusalem was heard you and affair off. And at that time were some appointed o'er the chambers for the treasures, for the offerings, for the first fruits, and for the tithes, to gather into them out of the fields of the cities the portions of the law for the priests and lewits. For Judah rejoiced for the priests, and for the lewits that waited, and both the singers and the porters kept the ward of their God, and the ward of the purification, according to the commandment of Dod, and of Solomon his son. For in the days of Dod and Asaph of old, there were chief of the singers, and songs of praise and thanksgiving unto God. And all Israel in the days of Zerubbabel, and in the days of Nehemiah, got the portions of the singers, and the porters, Uri day his portion, and they sanctified holy things unto the Lewits. And the Lewits sanctified them unto the children of Aaron. Chapter 13 On that day they read in the book of Moses in the audience of the people, and therein was found written, that the Ammonite and the Moabite should not come into the congregation of God for you were, because they met not the children of Israel with bread and with water, but hired Balaam against them that he should curse them, howbeit our God turn the curse into a blessing. Now it came to pass a when they had heard the law that they separated from Israel all the mixed multitude. And before this Eliashib the priest hung the outside of the chamber of the house of our God, was Elid vento Tobiah, and he had prepared for him a great chamber, where aforetime they laid the meat offerings, the frankincense and the vessels, and the tithes of the corn, the new wine, and the oil, which was commanded to be jewin to the Lewits, and the singers, and the porters, and the offerings of the priests. But in all this time was not I at Jerusalem, for in the two and thirtieth year of Artaxerxes king of Babylon came I vinto the king, and after certain days obtained I low of the king, and I came to Jerusalem, and understood of the yield that Eliashib did for Tobiah, in preparing him a chamber in the courts of the house of God and it grew me sore. Therefore I cast forth all the household stuff of Tobiah out of the chamber. Then I commanded, and they cleansed the chambers, and thither brought I again the vessels of the house of God, with the mead offering, and the frankincense. And I perceived that the portions of the Lewits had not been due in them, for the Lewits and the singers that did the work, we fled Yuri went to his field. Then contended I with the rulers, and said, Why is the house of God forsaken? And I gathered them together, and set them in their place. Then brought all Judah the tithe of the corn, and the new wine, and the oil, then to the treasuries. And I made treasures o'er the treasuries, Shelemiah the priest, and Zadok the scribe, and of the Lewitz, Padiah. And next to them was Hanan the son of Sakir, the son of Metania, for they were counted faithful, and their office was to distribute Fento their brethren. Remember me, O oh my God, concerning this, and wipe not out my good deeds that I have done for the house of my God, and for the offices thereof. In those days saw I in Yuda some treading wine presses on the Sabbath, and bringing in shows, and lading asses as also wine, grapes, and figs, and all manner of burdens, which they brought into Jerusalem on the Sabbath day. And I testified against them in the day wherein they sold victuals. There dwelt men of Tyre also therein, which brought fish and all manner of ware, and sold on the Sabbath unto the children of Judah, and in Jerusalem. Then I contended with the nobles of Judah, and said unto them, What you'll thing is this that ye do, and profane the Sabbath day. Did not your fathers thus, and did not our God bring all this ye'll fawn verses, and fawn this city? Yet ye bring more wrath fawn Israel, by profaning the Sabbath. And it came to pass, eh, that when the gates of Jerusalem began to be dark before the Sabbath, I commanded that the gates should be shut, and charged that they should not be opened till after the Sabbath, 
and some of my servants said I at the gates, that there should no burden be brought in on the Sabbath day. So the merchants and sellers of all kind of ware lodged without Jerusalem once or twice. Then I testified against them, and said unto them, Why lodge ye about the wall? If ye do so again, I will lay hands on you. From that time forth came they no more on the Sabbath. And I commanded the Lewits, that they should cleanse themselves, and that they should come and keep the gates. To sanctify the Sabbath day, remember me, O my God, concerning this also, and spare me, according to the greatness of thy mercy. In those days also saw I yous that had married Yus of Asht, of Ammon, and of Moab. And their children spake half in the speech of Asht, and could not speak in the Yus language, but according to the language of Ek people. And I contended with them, and cursed them, and smote certain of them, and plucked off their hair, and made them swear by God, saying, Ye shall not do your daughters vento their sons, nor take their daughters vento your sons, or for your salus. Did not Solomon king of Israel sin by these things? Yet among many nations was there no king like him, who was beloved of his God. And God made him king o'er all Israel, nevertheless, you and him did outlandish women cause to sin. Shall we then hearken then to you to do all this great yield to transgress against our God in marrying strange wives? And one of the sons of Uaiada, the son of Eliashib the high priest, was son in law to Sambalat the hoary knight, therefore I chased him from me. Remember them? O oh my God, because they how defiled the priesthood, and the quenant of the priesthood, and of the Lewits. Thus cleansed I them from all strangers, and appointed the wards of the priests and the Lewits, Yuri when in his business. And for the wood offering, at times appointed, and for the first fruits. Remember me, O oh my God, for good.